I posted a picture on my Instagram of uh, the new shipment I got of a whole bunch of image stuff as you can see and mentioned doing an unboxing video so um, this is kind of what that is I have just lovely post shower hair I'm not really gonna mess with it because it's Sunday so it's my day off so we can deal with that. I, I did a beta lift on Friday um, I'm starting to peel a little bit. I don't have a lot of makeup on because shit hurts. Because my skin is really uh, dry and tight because I'm peeling. Because that's what happens. That's why you do a peel. That's why I do a peel. Um, yeah, let's just jump right in. So a lot of the things that I ordered are products that are not new, not brand new. Weren't launched this year, but I just love them and uh, wanted... Wanted more. What else did we get? I'm gonna save all the new, new, new stuff for the very end. A flyer. Thanks. Trash. And another flyer. Throw that shit away. Uh, so we'll start with the uh, Vital C cleanser. This is a professional size. You can get it. Professional size. Um. It's a nice milky cleanser. I use this to wash my face. Zach uses this to shave. It leaves your skin pretty balanced, um, nice and hydrated. Anyway, you can tell that I love it. I go through a lot of it because I've got the professional size. So that's what this is. Uh, we got the Ormetic cleanser. This one's not actually for me. This is for, I think, my sister or one of my coworkers. Um, this is just a balancing facial cleanser. So. Um, not removing too many surface lipids, but still creating, um, removing enough dirt and debris. Sorry. I also got the Ageless. Ageless, Ageless. This one is the Max Cleanser. It's not for me. It's so beautiful. We got the Clear Cell. This is the Clear Cell. What do they call it? Salicylic Clarifying Tonic. Um, um, the, okay, so Prevention Plus. The um, 50 SPF, which you can't see at all. There we go. I can just hold it off to the side. Um, Ageless Resurfacing Mask. If I've got somebody who's not sold on Image, not sold on the cosmeceutical skincare lines, I say let's start with this because you will not find anything like this. I haven't even found anything like this in terms of other cosmeceutical lines. So, uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. The Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. Oh, okay, so this was a birthday gift for my sister, and she was kind of pissed about it. Um, it's the Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. Although it says anti-aging, it really is good for any what skin else did I get? I got her something else. I got her the Ormetic Biopeptide Cream. Oh. This one. I have just such a love affair with the Hyaluronic. This is the Ageless... Total pure hyaluronic filler. I usually just call it the hyaluronic filler. It smells like it's got apricot in it, so it smells nice and mm, just mm, so so good. No. Okay, I also got the Aluma bleaching serum. I haven't even touched this one. Um, the bleaching serum has hydroquinone in it, so it's a little bit more aggressive than um, the lightning serum that image offers. I use the lightning serum all through my pregnancy, so it's totally safe for uh, being pregnant. Mm, it. Oh no, did it leak? <gasps> Ooh, I'm not gonna deal with this right Straighten me out. Oh. Oh. No harm, no foul. Bleaching serum. Oh shit. Wait, I keep, keep going. Okay, we have two eye creams. Uh, the Ageless Eye Cream and the Eye Recovery Gel for the Kansas City area said that they went through and they basically looked at where their holes were. Um, and you can really tell. They really hit the nail on the head with the products that they um, have released this year. So one of the big things they did was they expanded the Eye Conceal. And the Eye Conceal is their foundation. I have like the super, super old. I mean, this packaging is years old. Um, but just... You know, I hold on to it because I love I love the product. But they've redone the packaging again, so this is actually the second, uh, yeah, I think second product redo. 
Uh, they've had the Eye Conceal for years, but this is what the new packaging looks like. Oh my god, it's just stunning. They finally got it. I mean, this is not a skin. So I'm, I'm very pleased that they finally have packaging that matches what um, the product does. And when I went to the launch party, I won some things, which was so exciting. I won the brush. They launched a brush, which I don't think I've even opened it yet because I've been waiting. So, so excited. Get out. Yeah, so I really didn't know if I was going to buy this because, um, you know, with my makeup obsession and doing makeup, you know, professionally, I have a lot of brushes. So I don't know that I could have justified purchasing this. I don't know what it retails for. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to do separate videos for that. But um, it's really dense and um, super soft. It is synthetic. All of Image products are vegan, so there's no animal hair. That's flawless foundation brush. So maybe I'll do a tutorial or something with it at some point. It smells like nothing, but feels good on the nose. They launched um, a primer. A primer. Or um, it, they also called it a blur gel. So this is kind of a trending thing with cosmeceutical lines is uh, a primer or gel that blurs imperfections and still preps the skin for makeup. This one has a lot of, um, what, what was it, orange peel extract, so you can really smell the citrus when you put it on. Uh, I find the consistency really interesting. It's quite different than um, a lot of other primers that I used. The Bare Minerals Primer, one that I've used for years, is... Just slightly. They also launched um, eye makeup remover pads. So this is called the Eye Beauty uh, Flawless Rejuvenating Eye Pads. Like I said, I don't know all the details of this product. I do know that there's coconut water in it. it doesn't really smell like much. I used it last night. Uh, I don't really have too much to report. It removed makeup. Yeah, wonder. It's called Eye Rescue Post Treatment Recovery Balm. I don't think it smells delicious, but it feels. So good on the skin. I mixed this and the eye conceal today, these two, and applied it all over. Um, Transepidermal water loss, this is what it's actively working on. So when your skin is trying to recover from a peel, um, holding on to some of the water that you've got. So uh, yeah, this is probably my so, favorite. The Vital C Hydrating uh, Facial Oil. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I haven't actually opened it. Um, I used, when we went to the lunch party, we got little foil packets, so little samples. I do love the packaging, so this is so pretty. Um, but it's, I have a feeling it's going to be like the um, hyaluronic filler, where it's going to drive me nuts when it gets to the bottom, because I don't know how to get every last drop of the product. I want to open it. Why can't I open it? I like the dropper. So not all of Image Serums will come in a dropper, but I do like that this one does. So we just open it. Mm, obviously smells like vitamin C. Um, I imagine this is going to be a replacement for your prescription vitamin C serums. Vitamin C oils came out with, this one is the Clear Still Restoring Serum. Um, I actually love this. Didn't expect to love it. I kind of was like, I, you know, it was one of those, bought it because it's due, because I wanted to try it. I expected to feel really dehydrated still with this, um, even though I'm on the oilier side, products like this usually don't, it's usually not enough nourishment for my skin. It's, that's not the case with this. This, I would put this on a bed, put the mattifying moisture, which, mattifying moisturizer, which also is new. Um, over the top of it. So these two are new in the clear cell line and go to bed and wake up and still feel um, balanced, still feel hydrated, not feel super uh, dehydrated, super imbalanced, blah, 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 blah. Um, I think that's this a lot of stuff. Um, keep in mind, this is what I do professionally and not all of this is for me. So most of it's for me. <laughs> so I'm not even had for a while. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you have questions. That's a lot of information. Not really too detailed on the products, but I can go into a more detailed video if you would like. Um, but otherwise, please like the video. Um, comment with questions. 
blah, blah, blah. All the things that they say at the end of videos. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'll see you next time.